Hey, what's up, YouTube? Defense is back on NBA 2K23. That's what Mike Wayne claims. I want to reference this tweet he sent out responding to N North. N North said, The people seem to agree. Give defense a chance this year, please, with two exclamation points. Mike Wayne responds, saying, So far, all the feedback from playtests have been that defense is favored over offense. So I think we're in a good spot. But how long will that spot last? Will Mike Wang and the 2K dev team hold up against the cries of offensive players limited by the newly improved defense? Y'all let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section. We're gonna get into the course side report and talk about the new things that 2K is intending to implement for NBA 2K23 to improve defense. So now I'm going to read this short paragraph right here. It says shot defense received a nice overhaul for NBA 2K23. Up until last year, we used a simple shot defense calculation that looked at two specific points, the location of the defender when the shot started and the proximity to the ball at the release. It all worked well, but also had its shortcomings. If the defender's hand or arm moves slightly into a bad position right at the point of our shot release calculation, you get a bad coverage score, even though it looked like a very good contest and i'm sure a lot of you guys could agree that was an extremely frustrating experience for 2k22 players it goes on to say this year we've created a system that evaluates the defensive players contesting hand throughout a window of shooting motion this larger sample set provides way more accurate results and helps line up the coverage numbers to what players expect based on what they see happening on the screen. Do you think 2K got it right in regards to shot contests for NBA 2K23? That's a big question because 2K likes to talk a lot of good hype prior to the release and then disappear mid-release. So we're definitely going to keep our eye on defense because I want to see defense improve for NBA 2K23. Let's talk about what they did for on-ball defense. One, I was watching NBA 2K Labs video and they show the difference for spamming and what that's going to do to defensive players out there. Spamming your uh, steal button will definitely deplete your adrenaline boost and also drain your stamina. So you are going to receive some ne negative effects for spamming on NBA 2K23. Would this create more balance? They were also showcasing that offensive players would be dribbling while in NBA 2K22 you could spam with no penalty so we should see a difference in regards to spamming how good that is for defensive players I'm not sure yet but let's get into on ball defense and some of the things that they they're intending to implement for NBA 2K23 with the new shading mechanic now this shading mechanic is going to have three bars under the ball handler and these bars are going to indicate where the defensive player is positioned you have an indicator for the left you have an indicator for the right and you also have an indicator for a straight face-to-face -face type of defense the side that the defensive player is on will be red and if that ball handler intends to go in that direction then they should be met with a clamp up body up animation or a pick the ball up type of animation these are indicators supposed to help the defense and help the offensive player as well who's dribbling the ball it says here great defenders can anticipate where the ball handler is attacking and will now more clearly be rewarded for it the shading system works for both on-ball defenders guarding the perimeter as well as post and does a good job communicating to both the offense and defense why collisions resolve the way they do now i will say this 2k has tried to implement a sort of shading mechanic in a previous version of 2k but it didn't work out too well hopefully with the next gen consoles we'll see a much more improved shading mechanic allowing defensive players to understand Stand and get an indicator as to how they're playing good defense in the positions that they're in. Let's get into shot blocking because interior defense was horrendous on NBA 2K22 and this needed a complete overhaul. 2K says they made a huge effort to improve block targeting and give players the ability to deter any shot that comes into the paint. But in that same paragraph, they go on to say you'll also notice a distinct improvement in ball security for good dunkers. And in the following paragraph, they go on to say how much better is going to be for finishers and slashers 
driving into the paint and how some of the animations that you received on NBA 2K22 in regards to tomahawks and back scratches will now be more difficult to defend against. One mechanic that I really like they're trying to fix and implement for NBA 2K23 is the flyby system. In NBA 2K22, we experienced a lot of jump fouls. So you're closing out late, so you jump to make a contest and you crash into the shooter, putting them on the line for an easy quick three. It says here the shot blocking system also now contains flyby blocks. When closing out late on the perimeter shooters, the flybys will do a better job trying to get a hand up while preventing defenders from slamming into the shooter and sending them to the line. So another great addition for the defense for NBA 2K23. One thing that contradicts a lot of what 2K has to say and something that I'm personally concerned about is the steals and ball strips. It says here ball strips are new and improved this year with tons of new content and better coverage so if you're a smaller defender quick hands can be just as effective in slowing down slashers and bigs in the paint as a good shot blocker that statement right there leaves me highly concerned in previous versions of 2k we all know if you was a small guard you can stay in the paint spam and you'll get a, a like a strip a good majority of the time against someone a big or a slasher coming into the paint i'm personally hoping with the new adrenaline boost feature that they're intending to incorporate and how it's going to deplete and also drop your steal and blocking attributes for failed attempts i'm hoping that a balance out the idea of smaller guards having the same effectiveness as a shot blocker to prevent a drive into the paint i know a lot of you guys concerned about defense will find this state concerning as well you guys sound off in the comment section i definitely love to hear from you in my personal opinion the primary goal for nba 2k in 2k 23 should be a balance a fair balance between defense and offense we all know that 2k has been heavily offensive oriented but one of the best 2k's ever released in nba 2k 19 also nba 2k 20 defense reigns supreme although offense was still a viable option for a lot of players there were players who appreciated the defense in those games let me know your thoughts about that thank you so much for tuning in to all city live tv keep it locked here as we continue to give you a bunch more updates for NBA 2K23. Don't forget to drop a like and drop a sub on your way out. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Easy, y'all.